Welcome back into the show. Time for a little 814 Eats. We are now in the 814 kitchen with Miss Chef Janet. Thank yes. you so much. You've got a beautiful dinner that is pretty simple to put together today for us. What are we calling this? We are calling this bacon chicken thighs. Doesn't sound very fancy, but it is fancy. <laughs> so, and I made a little bit of uh, pasta for the sauce and the chicken, you know, just to ramp it up to oh, give yeah. you an idea of a full meal. And what we did here on this, Morgan, is we took some chicken thighs and uh, you can leave the skin on when you brown your chicken thighs off uh, in your skillet. But I decided I don't like chicken skin. Mm -hmm. It's just a personal thing with me. So I took the skin off my thighs, just salt and peppered. And then before I got ready to cook them in my skillet, I put four pieces of bacon in the skillet. Oh. Then got my bacon so I can chop this up for the topping. Then in that skillet where I had rendered that bacon is where I browned off these chicken thighs. Okay. No flour on them, just salt and pepper. Just brown them off in that bacon grease where they're brown on each side. Then put them in your pot and then you're going to let them cook until they get really nice and done. Always remember to temp your chicken mm -hmm. at 165 okay. if there's any doubt. And in this recipe, with this bacon chicken thighs, we've got our thighs and they're nice and browned off. And our sauce is going to consist of a half of a red onion that's sauteed. I love that. Okay. Eight ounces of mushrooms that are sauteed. Of course, we incorporated salt and pepper. We're going to make up two bouillons of chicken broth with water to make us about two cups of chicken broth. Then we're gonna incorporate it about a half of lemon, mm -hmm. squeeze that lemon, and then three quarters cup of half and half. Nice okay? and creamy. Nice and creamy, nice and smooth, and then you're just gonna let that cook down in your saucepan until your chicken gets nice and done, and we're just gonna I'm going to put a piece right here, oh, Morgan. Oh, so good. And then we're going to plate up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my bacon in there. You okay. know, bacon makes everything better. Well, yeah. I think Joe Murgo just said that a while ago. <laughs> and I even have a button that says that, and I forgot you to did? wear it today. Oh, goodness. It says bacon makes everything better. And then we're going to have our chicken, and we're just going to put that in there. And then we're going to take our nice pasta here, Morgan. You like fettuccine or I linguine? Do. Okay. Good go. I love All right, that. Let's put that on mm -hmm. there. Uh oh, that noodle wanted to run away. <laughs> we got him. All right, we got it. And what's going to happen, Morgan, if the chicken crosses the road? He'll get to the other side. Roadkill. Moving on. Oh, yikes. Right, right before we're about to eat it, too. Let's get some of these mushrooms. I love in here. that. Ooh, and the sauce, everything looks so good. All right, so now, good. wait a minute, okay. we're not done. Okay. We need a little fresh thyme. You mm. buy just a whole pack of fresh thyme and just cut it up. Wow, Okay. Look at that. All right, so let's do a recap of okay. what we've got here. We browned off our chicken thighs with our skin off or on, lightly salt and peppered. And be sure and brown those off after you've cooked your four slices of bacon, real good and crispy. And then brown your chicken off, put everything in a skillet or in a stock pot or saucepan. Then add your, be sure and saute up some red onion and some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Add a half a lemon, fresh lemon juice, some half and half, three quarters cup. You've had your bouillon, you had to make two cups of broth to put in your sauce. And then a lot of times for a trick, I use this called Gravy Master okay. or Kitchen Bouquet. It's just if I want to get my sauce a little darker mm -hmm. where I've got coloring. People tend to eat with their eyes. 
not really their smell sometimes. And so if they look at something and it's not the right color, yeah. they're like, no. But this <laughs> is called cheater dye. I wish you could dye your hair with this because it saved me a lot of money. Gravy but master. you can just put this in and make it a little bit darker to get your color in a little better. And then that makes it make a better appearance and look better, Morgan. It's that easy. Yeah. Okay. Now, what a nice dinner to have tonight. So I can dig in already? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks great. Do you need a little more bacon Why on there? Why not? I sure can. It makes everything better. Now, have you made this for your husband before? Oh, yeah. He I'm going to make this in Wisconsin when I go on my trip this summer for my family. Oh, you have to. Mm hmm. Mm. And what might make it a little better if you had the time to make homemade pasta, but we've got to make quick it's pasta. It's excellent. Isn't that excellent? Mm. You've got all those nice flavors. You've got your cream sauce. The red onion is a little bit bold and pungent to add as opposed to another type of onion. I like the fresh thyme instead of doing uh, basil or oregano. Uh, thyme, uh, most people pair it with fish, but I like it right. with pasta and chicken dishes. So, yeah. And that kick of the lemon, too. Kick of the lemon, yeah. And so always. You, you kept it all in the same pot, so all those flavors really kind of melt together. They What they, they do, do is they marry each other. Yeah. They marry each other in flavor. And it doesn't take that long to make, right? No. Really, no. it comes together pretty simply. About 55 minutes from start to finish. Okay. By the time you prep everything off and cook and do your pasta. So it's easy peasy. And look what a beautiful oh, presentation know. you've made. You're going to impress your guests. You can really impress your guests. Pretty you fancy will. there. You Make them think you know <laughs> what you're doing. Thanks to Chef Janet. Now, uh, tell everybody how they can reach you because you actually go to people's houses and you'll cook for them too. Right. I'm a personal chef. I'll come in and cook and prepare your dinner party, clean up your kitchen, and then ghost. Mm -mm -mm. And I have done everything for you and made your evening very enjoyable and very simple. My number is 814-515-1191, where you can contact Chef Janet at any time. And also, you're always welcome to call and ask a cooking question. I'll give you one lifeline. Don't ever call a second time, just one time. That's great advice. Hey, hey one lifeline to call Chef Janet. I must be lonely. <laughs> well, I mean, what if someone came up with an alias? They just use a different name every time. Well, then they're going to get more than one lifeline, Morgan. That's your trick. That's your trick. <laughs> Definitely check out Chef Janet and this amazing recipe. We'll have it available on our website, wearecentralpa.com. Still to come on the show, are you 55 years